Hey everyone, it is Char from Shard's Fashionation. I just got off the phone with Fabric Mart. It's such lovely ladies up there at Fabric Mart. Um, I had seen their Instagram post about the V1671 from Call's Vogue Pattern V1671 for um, the Yellow Dress Challenge. Now, I guess, you know, since they're having inventory issues, some other place happens to sell it, which is sad. Did you sell the patterns to this other place? And now I have to put out a pocket again? Are you serious? I feel like you only sent this pattern and I don't have any hard feelings against you, but I feel that if somebody purchased this pattern, I'm constantly being told, oh, it's being shipped today. And then I check and it's not been shipped. And then I call again. Oh, well, we're shipping it tomorrow. And then I check. Yeah. I don't know. I used to use McCall's patterns when I was a little girl. I'm going to trust Fabric Mart. But I'm... Look, I'm just going to say it. McCall's, I'm disappointed in you. You took my money and scammed with it. You you took my money and I have yet to receive my pattern. And time is a ticking, people. I'm just very disappointed in you. That's all. I'm just very disappointed in how you will take someone's money gladly but not have that pattern in inventory and the people that were up first don't really seem to be the people in the challenge it just seems to be corporate people got this pattern Except for your customers. That's wrong. Mimi G even posted on Instagram that pattern with one of her patterns. And, you know, that's great and all, but she's part of your your pattern making. And so that just goes to show who you favor. Like, she a paying customer? No, she works for you. I know this, and a lot of other people out there know this. I I like Mimi G. She's cool. She just gets to the point, okay? But the point is, if a customer is paying for a pattern, I don't care if it was on sale. It was on sale when I purchased. But if a customer is purchasing this pattern, you are obligated. After money has been received, you are obligated to mail that pattern. You're obligated. You're so obligated to mail that pattern that I, I'm seriously disappointed. I told the ladies at Fabric Mart the next time they want to do this kind of dress challenge with McCall's um, to ask them if they're sure that they have that pattern in stock because she's having to direct other people to another website where then I have to put out of pocket another 
I'm going to say maybe $25, $26 for this pattern that I've already paid for. Serious? I'm disappointed. I'm just very disappointed. Now, as you can see, I'm not spouting any anger. I'm just saying. I'm disappointed in you. I have already purchased my fabrics for this and I'm just highly disappointed. As corporate, you should have taken the steps in order to make sure that you had said product in stock before saying that you're going to do this challenge. And one of your employees asked me, and knew about the yellow dress challenge asked me are you sure that that's the only pattern you can use yes that's the only pattern you're allowed to use so yeah i'm like disappointed like how can you expect somebody to be in your yellow dress challenge and yes you don't have to use the fabric from fabric mart and you don't have to make it yellow you can make it whatever color you want and I already have fabric aside for that and I was going to add some like really cute touches to it but I'm just highly disappointed I I really am I am highly disappointed I just feel like you sent this pattern out immediately to all your your corporate but forgot your customer. If a customer pays, you are legally obligated to mail said product. And I'm just saying, next time would you please check your stock? Because that is not going to work. That's just not going to work unless you have said product in stock. And I... I'm just, like I said, I'm just, I'm disappointed. I'm not angry. Um, I'm just very disappointed. You're a better company than this. And you know you're a better company than this. And you know you can do better than this. You can do better by not disappointing your customer or customers. And, um... Get that pattern out there. Besides, showing this in a challenge, especially here on YouTube, because I plan on doing a whole entire thing, like a few days of working on that, and then, you know, hanging on the mannequin, a mannequin, which is right over here. Um... And letting the fabric hang so that, because I know the particular fabrics for the skirting should hang for a while. That way you can see if there's any drooping in the fabric and you may need to alter that. I'm just saying, I already know this. So, and I also know certain fabrics that can be used and cannot be used and I plan on putting a stretchy lining in it so it's like a hidden spank inside that dress that's right I was going to add a hidden spank inside that dress not a lot of people are thinking about that one but I did <laughs> um Absolutely, because that hidden spank also acts as your liner. Hmm. See? Shara thinks about these things. Because I used to be a custom clothing designer. So, I already know what you can do to it. To uh, upgrade the inside when you're lining it. And I already have all the fabrics that I need. Plus, the delicate uh, details I was going to do around here I have it all it's all ready to go 
I'm just waiting on you. And I shouldn't have to put out an extra $26 to get this pattern in time. <sighs> Disappointment. It shouldn't have to happen. I'm just saying, next time, check your inventory before you say you want to do this challenge. Because to me, um, I feel like when you've done this, it's like you're trying to tread on fabric mark to make them look bad. And they're not bad people. And I want to make my way back up to Fabric Mart maybe in the next few months and go shopping there because they have some things that you can't get online that you can only get in store. And I have to make like arrangements to get there and da da da. Yeah. So, um,. And then hopefully you lovely ladies will let me do a YouTube video in there while I'm in there. Don't worry, I won't have the camera on Viv. Viv is used to being on her own camera. Um, so, yeah. Just think before you do a challenge, corporate-wise. And make sure that you have everything in stock. It makes sense. It's logical that you have that. Make sure, and I'm just saying, make sure. Because like I said, one day I may actually want to do a pattern with you, but I'm really kind of holding back on a pattern idea because this ain't looking so good. is not looking so good. I mean, you print in a whole different state. Um, which is fine. I don't care. I mean, your corporate headquarters is New York, but you print the pattern somewhere else in America and ship them from there, but still, that's no excuse. It's no excuse. There's no excuse. Um, yeah. There's just no excuse for it. Always check what you have before sitting down at a board meeting and saying, this is what we're going to do. And let's include these people. And then their people sit down with your people. And they're all up for it because it brings them more customers but you're over here doing whatever you're doing and you forgot to check. Whoops. But you could have also said, use a similar pattern and it'll be all right because you can just use a similar pattern. Well, not everybody has a right to get somewhere and uh, not everybody lives near a Hobby Lobby, a Walmart, yeah, not everybody lives near one of those. Sometimes that's like 20 or 30 miles out, like from where I live. That's like 20 or 30 miles from where I live. And then I have to find a ride to get there to get something. And that's why I'm saying I'm disappointed. Like I paid to have it shipped. So I'm disappointed. That's all. So anyway, I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And yeah, I'm still waiting for my glasses to come in because, I don't know. If you decide to ship it to me in time, I can probably knock that thing out in two days. Probably could. Oh, wait, no, not probably. I can. I knocked out my regalia in three days. 
took me three days to make my regalia for the powwow. But it was worth it. And it would take me less time to do that with your pattern. Because your pattern is, well, mine was easy too. I made my own pattern for a skirt and a shirt. So it really doesn't take much for me to be able to toss a pattern together and uh, not be disappointed. So I'm just saying, corporate rise, corporate wise, please think first. I don't want you guys to look bad. Like I said, I've been working with your patterns since I was like maybe seven, eight years old. And that's been a while. I'm 46 now. So, um, yeah. So like I said, everybody stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Have a blessed weekend, and hopefully, hopefully they will hear me on, I paid, where's my pattern? Come on. Come on. I already have beautiful fabrics to put this thing together. All right? And I'm not in it for the money. I'm just in it to have fun. 